Hi, my name's Imogen and this is my iPad. We have Stanford, we all have iPads. We take our iPads everywhere! I think the thing that sticks out the most is how much technology we have now to use to support the children's learning and to make the curriculum so much more exciting and relevant to this age which is so technologically driven. I still use tried and true uh, methodology and pedagogy um, that I've been using for, for years but we now integrate a lot of the technology. We're taking visual learning to a whole new level. One of our goals of, of the students coming out of our school is that they'll be prepared for the future and people spend a lot of time per, you know, trying to figure out what that's going to look like. What kind of skills do these, our students going to need in 20 years? We want our students to be creative. We want them to be innovative with students, who knows, potentially coming up with a patent. Um, but we want to give them opportunities to create and make contributions to society. Uh, it's nice because all my students have their own MacBook Pro and so I can actually look usually like a class lesson I'll give them some information and I want responses from them and I can give them a website where they can submit all their responses and I can get real-time data and adjust accordingly based on their responses and also show them instantaneous graphs of what their solutions were. I can assign math homework to students at different ability levels and they can go home and they can do that and then they can get immediate feedback of whether they're doing it correctly or not and then I can check online to see what it is they've been doing. What makes it such an interesting tool is that we're able to differentiate for every student in the school very easily. Uh, one student's iPad is not like another, it's just like no two students are the same. They have different learning needs, they have different learning styles and with the iPads and each student having their own, it, it makes learning much more customizable for every student, helping them achieve the most that they possibly can. You'll see kids using various applications. It, uh, it varies from grade level to grade level. Having just started the program, uh, one application that we're using right now is Explain Everything. And, and what that allows the kids to do is, is to incorporate it into a math lesson, build math sentences, they can manipulate objects on it, they can actually import uh, photos of themselves, they can actually use voice to describe what it is that they've learned and then they can s actually send it off in an email to their parents if they want to. I'd say that the future is pretty wide open for uh, SAIS as we continue to grow and start to communicate with the world on a global scale. We've got so much technology available to the students, uh, both personal technology with the iPads to technology that we can share with parents in the community through the iLearn centers. The iLearn is a new space that we have. Teachers are using it for large groups, so you can do lessons in there, but it can also be used for video streaming. That will help us interact and Skype and talk to experts in the field. It's quite remarkable to see so much technology available to the students and where they're at now and where they're going to be is going to be really interesting to see.